Hello everyone, I am Jeffrey Ryan, and today, I am showing you how I created this vector portrait of William Defoe in Adobe Illustrator. Let's get started. Like, share and subscribe and click the notification bell to get notified for new content. I start looking for the major shadow shapes in the reference. Then I get started working on the eyes, since eyes are the window to a person's soul. I try to capture it best as I can with the help of pen tool and basic ellipse tool. I try to get the shadows and highlights on the eyes looking right, so I can use that as a lighting reference for the vector portrait later on. Make a custom brush using an ellipse, and flattening it out, so both ends look like a point, with a bulge in the middle. Then set it to art brush, and then start working on the outlines of the nose, and eyebrows using pen tool. Then duplicate the eyebrows, like I did for the eyes, and start marking out the skin folds near the eyes with the custom brush. Make the folds look organic so it feels real. The portrait needs an outline, so the form of the face is clear. Form and value are two most important aspects to define any illustration or painting. Making outlines can be tricky but also quite interesting. The way I have done hair here is one of a thousand other ways it can be done. Shadows are made using black, but with a multiply blending mode and a 25% opacity. 
Highlights are made using the closest facial color, but with a screen blending mode and a 25% opacity. Some facts about the person in the portrait, William James or Willem Dafoe is an American actor. Born on July 22, 1955, Appleton, Wisconsin, U.S., American actor known for his versatility and willingness to appear in controversial roles. Dafoe, the son of a surgeon and a nurse, was one of seven children. He is known for his distinct gravelly voice, and has received multiple accolades, including nominations for four Academy Awards and three Golden Globe Awards. Now it's all about layering, the shadows and highlights to show value, and show the form through lighting. Every shadow shows the darkest points or the amount of depth in the face. And the highlights show the lightest points or the amount of rays in the face. Keep shifting focus from one part of the face to the other constantly, since focusing on one area makes you get stuck in one tiny area, or as I would like to say a tiny part of a tiny street in a big country. Once the form starts to come together then it's all about repetitive process of getting it to look better. Details are important, but only after the form is perfect. If you are new to the channel do not forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell to get updated every time I upload new content. Do like the video if you enjoyed this illustration process and comment down below what you would like to see me create in the upcoming videos. This is Jeffrey Ryan from Jeffrey Ryan Designs and until next time stay safe and stay creative.